This is my current setup. I have the draw set up, basic draws that you can get on Walmart. And I'll show you the inside. Hold on, it's a little dark. This is their setup. I got shredded paper. It's a Aspen. Aspen just because that's what I have left. Like I am using what I have left, but I'm doing paper for less dust. I cut up my um, paper towel rolls or toilet paper rolls. I We save and we give them to them. Um, this was actually a little plastic thing that I got from work and I cut some holes in it. So they play with it a lot. They poke their head out and it's huge. So when they have kids, they they put them in there and everything. Got these little low profile wheels too. They love running on it. They're really good. And then these little water bowls. This little water bowl um, you could get from, I got it from Amazon. It's basically a hamster water bowl. It's really cute because it has um, a little hideout underneath. And even these, they dig underneath and you'll find them under here too. And then food. I make this little hopper. Make this little hopper thing out of this is one and a half mesh. Um, they get in there, and I just hang it on the side here, as you can see. I'm currently cleaning and moving them around, um, so I'll show you the other drawers just to just to show you. Right now, I don't have it against the wall, so it's a little wobbly. Um, one thing you do want to make sure is that the drawers close all the way. If not, I use Velcro and I just make sure that it closes. Just make sure it closes. Um, one thing I have noticed, if you look at this black one, there's a little hole here, right? Look at these. Maybe you can see the hole more. Okay. What we recently experienced was that we have some grown-up hoppers and they decided they wanted to make their way out. We have since caught them, but they were using the sides. Granted, this is only because of the types of things that I have. Um, you can have, like this, if this is close to the wall, they use this to hop up, so I put this in the middle. This one also. Just based on my the way my hides and my stuff is, it's very tall. This also, if it was on the side where the opening is, they'll get out real quick. Hoppers go in the front just because you can't really slide it. If it's over here, you can't slide it closed. It'll bump into the wall. But yeah, I'm sure the hoppers... The food hoppers will also give them an opportunity to escape, so you want to be careful with that. Another thing I did try that I saw in another video is doing a PVC pipe with the hopper underneath. That also works and that prevents them from using the hopper to get out. Um, what I did was I used Velcro, but I had to put hot glue um, to hold it in because the Velcro wasn't strong enough. I use hot glue. I did, like I said, I tried this first and I decided this was, I like that option a little bit better. Um, what else can I show you? Give me one sec. So this is my setup for moms that have a bunch of babies, hoppers, and breeding colonies. This is my setup for singles. I think I have one pair in here, but they have no babies. And also a maternity ward if a mom is just having pinkies babies. I put them in here and once they become hoppers, I put them back in the big one. So I'll show you some of what's going on here. This is my one of my new breeder males.
So you don't want to pick up mice by their tail. I tried to. We just got him a few days ago, so he's not as hand tame. This is also another one of the water bottles that I got from Amazon. This only has one hole, but it's also a hideout. I actually like this one a little better because the base is a little heavier, so they don't knock it over as easy. I swear they're usually not this hard to grab, but he is new. Another way I trick them is I try to get them into the tube. There it goes. And once you get the tube, once you grab the tube, you could literally just drop them into your hand. Let's see if I could get this little guy onto my hand. So this is our breeder, one of our breeder males. We just bought him, like I said. He also has the aspen and the paper. He's really cute. I like him. You should make some cute babies. With Penny and Spot over there. He currently does not have a food hopper. I'm gonna have to put one in. Put this one in for him. So what I do is I keep it elevated from the floor so that they don't pee or anything on it. And there you go. He'll get a wheel too. I gotta give him a wheel. This one's empty. This is a pregnant female that I have. As you can see here, she has a water dish. She has the PVC tube. And then what we do is we put a bowl down here for anything that falls through. She has her little thing there. Here we have another mama with one baby. She had one baby. Um, so I think she's probably done breeding for us. She's probably going to become a feeder. She's had two litters for us, but we got her from a pet store that also bred her, probably. So she has a food hopper, water, little thing. I'm not sure why she only had one baby, but that's all she had. One little baby. I do handle my pinkies, my fuzzies. I handle all them all. Um, there's no reason not to. Um, they don't eat them. As far as I've experienced, they haven't eaten them. But I'm also in here all the time messing with them because I want to make sure my mamas know me. And they're not scared when I'm in here. I want to show you some of the little hoppers we have now. There they go. These are Penny's babies. Some have red eyes, some have brown eyes. Let me see if I can get all of them over here. Obviously, these are all feeders, but these are the ones that she has left. These are Spots Babies. That's my favorite. Oh, that's another one that looks like going down there. She has a couple tan ones. And anything. The beige. And then she has one tan one that looks like she could be pennies. She's not. Oh, you see that fuzzy guy over there? He took after the male that tired this litter, which I'll show you now. You see how fuzzy he is? And this one here is fuzzy too. But some are not fuzzy. Come back. Yeah. This is the male that Penny's all the babies I just showed you are from. 
That's the male. And I have him with a little white female. So we'll see what happens with them. These are our hoppers. Crazy little hopper things that we have here. Like I said, we keep them entertained. They are pets until until they get fed off. So hope you guys enjoy. If you have any questions about breeding, let me know. We are gonna be breeding African softwares very soon. Thank you.